My heart is thumping in my chest. Oh, you know, ivory, the rarest of them all, you know? No, I'm just kidding. I never say that, okay? <laughs> I don't say that. My parents were hippies, but like, they weren't. They were quite the opposite of hippies. Um, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, anyway, I wanted to do a 24 hour reading challenge, but romance edition. I want to read only romance. I want to be on a romance binge. I never thought I would be able to do a 24 hour reading challenge because I love sleep. But the past couple nights, I haven't really been able to sleep. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna use this pain for a video. So here I am. These books I need to talk to you about. I need to talk to you about. The Last Letter from Your Lover by Jojo Moyes. Moyes? I don't know how to say her last name. And Palm Trees in the Snow by Luz Gabas. Gabas translated by Noelle Hughes. Yeah, so this book was actually originally in Spanish and oh, she's thick. She's super thick. This one versus this one's a lot smaller. The reason why I'm so excited about these books is because no romance movie has ever made me sobbed the way these two did. Okay, this one especially. Palm Trees in the Snow. I watched it on Netflix. I'm not sure if it's still on there, but and it's like four hours long <laughs> Three and a half hours something like that. And I watched that movie at like 2 a.m. You know couldn't go to sleep I picked a romance movie randomly and it just so happened to be one of my all-time favorite romance movies ever I was like wait it's based off of a book I have to read it. And this one too. This one was actually Netflix movie like Netflix made the movie if that makes sense. The Last Letter from your lover that movie made me sob a lot too and it's a comfort movie for me i've never been so attached to a movie the way i have that one and i was like wait a second it's a book i got two i think i'm kind of underestimating myself thinking that i will only get through two books in 24 hours i also have a colleen hoover book over there let's start this 24 hours let's go this book and the sleep deprivation is hitting me now why did it not hit me the past few nights that I haven't been able to sleep I don't know but it's hitting me now and I don't know about you guys but when I'm very sleepy tired exhausted I get very pessimistic so as I'm reading these passionate love letters and declarations of love my reactions have been okay whatever sure that's what they all say that's what they all say is romance dead for me right now but i'm gonna finish this gizmo please gizmo really he doesn't care he doesn't care.
finish this book and this book affected me okay you know how i was what two-thirds of the way through and i came on here telling you i was feeling pessimistic while the ending i believe in love again i believe in love again because of this ending time check 16 hours left so this book took me approximately eight hours to finish did i love it is it a five star it's not a five star but i don't know if that's because of me i am thoroughly exhausted another thing to note this book has no spice it's all closed door rich people 1960s london luxury this man comes along and sweeps little old jennifer off her feet it's very character driven the letters that are included in here oh my gosh so beautifully written i was swooning i was swooning this book made me feel things and i believe in love now because of this book i don't know if i want to read palm trees in the snow next because i feel like that book is similar in a lot of ways to this i guess it's a different time period well, i don't know i don't know i just feel like even if i'm just sticking to romance this 24 hour reading challenge i want to have a vast variety of romance you know kind of break it apart so i think the next romance book i'm gonna read is gonna be ugly love by colleen hoover is that book gonna make me sob probably and i'm all right with that colleen hoover make me sob i want to be sobbing my eyes out okay make me sob and then after that book i don't know we'll see how we're feeling so let's get into it Hey y'all, 
So this is the face of someone who didn't just fall asleep, but who hibernated for over 10 hours. And I still feel like I could sleep another 10 hours. Safe to say the sleep deprivation finally caught up to me and it kicked my butt. Maybe this isn't the 24 hour reading challenge. Maybe this is the 24 hour sleeping challenge and I could do it. You know, this challenge is so hard for me also because I can't drink coffee. Not that I won't. I can't like my body rejects coffee I don't know how to explain it except that my heart is not strong enough for coffee uh okay I'm gonna keep reading <laughs> no. what's gonna happen I'm so scared what's gonna happen what's gonna happen I can't handle it. I can't handle it. I can't. I don't even know what's gonna happen and I already know I can't handle it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm scared. funny miles just called tate pretty and why am i over here blushing like if he called me pretty miles thank you <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> and now he's kissing her right in front of her brother corbin why am i blushing stop Stop. Okay, I'm recording myself right now because I know something is about to hit. Chapter 32. I know something is about to hit. Pray for me. Aww. <laughs> Wait, what? This part. The last line. We both laugh at our son's big balls. I'm sorry, what? Okay, why didn't nobody tell me? I knew this book was sad, but I didn't know this book was gonna break me. I'm over here sobbing my eyes out. Oh my gosh. I didn't know it was gonna be like that. Miles is such a broken man, and I feel so sad for him. Now I'm broken. How am I gonna finish this book? I'm on page 281, just read the letter from Rachel. I can't, but I have to. not eight minutes and i believe i started it around the 16 hour mark so eight hours took me eight hours to finish this around the same as this this one was closer to 400 pages so this one was 320 pages this one had so many emotions in it so for my next read bridgerton the duke and i these books are spicy don't let this 
the covers fool you. If you've ever watched Bridgerton, they're spicy. We'll read you at a later date, I promise, okay? Let's start Bridgerton. <laughs> Bridgerton, the Duke and I, last night, and I love Bridgerton. Just like the other book, Viscount Who Loved Me, that I read, I find myself laughing. I'm laughing while reading, or if I listen to the audiobook, I'm laughing. I mean, the banter is top tier in Bridgerton books. Absolutely love it. So this, I give a solid 4.5 stars. The exact same thing as Bridgerton season one. Daphne and the Duke of Hastings. And I don't think I rated this book yet, but solid four stars. Made me cry, made me giggle, made me scream. Colleen Hoover, you know, Colleen Hoover always hits. And then last letter from your lover. I give this a solid 3.5 five stars it's a beautifully written book it's just i like spice in my romance books you know and this one is closed door not spicy sorry about the noise someone's cutting grass outside <laughs> can you please stop i'm talking about books here it's the utmost importance how dare they how dare they 24 hours i finished three books not the books i thought i would read i mean i knew i was gonna read the last letter from your lover i didn't think i was gonna read bridgerton or ugly love they're all like in the same blue color scheme look at that 
Oh my gosh, I love it. This was a successful, wait, no, not successful 24 hour reading challenge because I did hibernate for over 10 hours. So the 24 hour reading challenge lasted two days for me, but <laughs> sleep deprivation, you know what I mean? It gets the best of us and it got me, it got me. All right, well, I'm gonna go hibernate again. I'll see you in the next video, which will be a reading vlog of a very special book. Bye.